Hi, my name is David Molinar, and I play the cello for the San Antonio Symphony. I am so excited to have this chance to share with you how I became a cellist. I'll also tell you a little bit about the cello as well, but first, I'd like to play something for you. This is Johann Sebastian Bach's Gig from his suite in C major for unaccompanied cello. <laughs> What did that sound like to you? If you thought it sounded like a fast dance, you'd be absolutely right. A gigue is an energetic dance from the Baroque period. This is the time that Bach lived in, which was over 300 years ago. He wrote six movements or sections, beginning with a prelude and followed by various dances like the one you just heard. Each dance has its own rhythm and tempo or speed. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Bach wrote over 1,000 pieces in his lifetime? That's amazing! Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about how I became a cellist. Way back a long, long time ago, when I was in fifth grade, the band director came around to the classroom to introduce instruments in the school band. I was really excited about the drums. I practically ran home and announced to my mother that I wanted to learn how to play the drums. She paused momentarily and then quietly suggested that I try the cello instead. That was the beginning of many years of private lessons, four years of pre-college at the Manhattan School of Music, several summer camps, and finally admission to the Juilliard School, one of the top performing arts colleges in the world. After graduating, I went to Los Angeles to the University of Southern California. While I was in LA, 
I played in recording studios for Hollywood movies. While that was a lot of fun, I felt I was missing out on something. I really wanted to play in a big symphony orchestra. So I started to take auditions and soon won my job in the San Antonio Symphony. One of the best parts of my job is that I sit right in front of the conductor in the center of the orchestra. I hear every sound. Speaking of the orchestra, I'd like to play a piece for you now that features the cello. It's called The Swan by Camille Saint-Saëns. It's a part of a piece he wrote for two pianos and orchestra in 1886 called The Carnival of the Animals. Accompanying me by the virtue of magic of the internet is Projet Vot en Musique. Could you picture the swan gliding across the rippling waters? I don't know of any cellist that doesn't love this piece. Now, let's explore what the cello is made of. The body of the instrument is a hollow box. The top plate is made of straight grain spruce, kind of like a Christmas tree. The bouts or sides and back are made from curly maple. The pegs, fingerboard, and tailpiece are all made from a very dense hardwood called ebony. The bow is made from a rare South American wood called Pernambuco from the jungles. As we're talking about the bow, actually, the white part of the bow is hair from the tail of a horse. Now, horsehair has little microscopic ridges on it that when we rub rosin, or which is hardened tree sap, imagine how sticky that is, on the horsehair, like this, and then we pull the bow across the string, it makes the string vibrate. 
that produces our sound. Actually, that vibration travels through this piece here, which is called the bridge. The bridge transfers the sound to the box of the instrument, which is basically like an amplifier. When I stop the string with my fingers, it'll change the vibration or pitch. And that is how the sound is made. Well, now that I've played for you examples of music from the 18th and 19th century, I'd like to play a short piece from a famous living composer named George Crumb. This is the Tema Pastoral from his sonata for solo cello. Thank you. 